Domestic violence is a topic that's not really discussed, but, but the latest case with Gabby Petito that sparked national headlines, her current autopsy reports reveal that she was strangled to death. So lots of people have been talking about domestic violence. Have you encountered many patients that are victims of domestic violence? Unfortunately, I have. I've had the privilege to practice family medicine here in the state of Mississippi for over 18 years and more often than should be, and, and I'm talking more often than zero because that's what would be optimal. But I've encountered a lot of patients that have come in. Now note, these patients that came in, they didn't come in, the, the ones that were identified as victims, they didn't identify themselves as victims. They didn't say, Dr. Quinn, someone is, is beating me or being abused. But what we medical professionals have to do is rely on our skills and the training that we receive to look for warning signs. And, and some of these warning signs and symptoms can be diagnosed on the physical exam. Maybe there's bruising, tenderness, cuts, but a lot of the abusers are able to conceal where a lot of these findings might not be there with some of the abuse. They, they have very uh, systematic ways that they abuse to, to, to hide it. So we also have to rely on our history and we, we look for signs and symptoms of depression or anxiety or different behavior uh, presentations. But if we have a high enough degree of certainty that someone is being abused, we intervene. And how do you intervene? Well, well, basically, what we do is we, first of all, establish trust with our patients and, and, and we help them understand that they don't have to be a victim mm -hmm. and, and we seek help. And a lot of times we'll work with the local law enforcement to bring in a police officer to the clinic, which we've done on many occasions over the past 18 years, and not let the patient go home and confront the abuser because that's the most dangerous scenario but in most cases in the past the police officer will go to the home with the the person that's the victim and help them safely get out of the home along with children if children are involved or other family members and police do have different resources to help relocate the victim and the rest of the family to a safer place. But the most important thing is we encourage them not to go back home to that dangerous environment. And as a physician, what do you want people to know about this topic? Well, we want people to know. We want everyone to know. We want our patients to know you don't have to be a victim. You don't, and you deserve better. And, and a lot of these individuals that are victims, they'll, they'll be systematically, psychologically by their abusers made to think that this is the way it should be. A lot of them have a history of having abuse as children. Their parents may have been abused. And in a lot of cases, they think that this is the norm. But what we do is we first help them get out of the home, but we pair them up with a therapist for counseling, even a psychiatrist at times if they need medication, but help them understand that this does not have to be their fate. Absolutely. All right, Dr. Quinn, thank you. And if you are a victim of abuse, you can always head to the hotline.org website. It has resources which you can call, chat, or text for support. We'll be right back after this break. WJTV 12's live.